Election results. Tinubu will not be president of Nigeria. Ezefe uh, mentioned. Wow. This is Chukemeka Ezefe, the former governor of uh, Anambra State. And it's now an old other states man who has actually seen what has happened. And he's saying that Tinubu will not be president of Nigeria. We don't know why he's saying this and how is it going to happen. Let's hear what he has to say. Former governor of Anambra State, Chukemeka Izeife, has said the president-elect Bola Tinubu will not be sworn in as Nigeria's president. Izeife said this while accusing the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, of manipulating the electoral process and rigging the presidential and national assembly elections in favor of the All Progressive Congress APC and its candidate Bola Tinubu. The former Anambra Hemsman said it was obvious that Peter B of the Labour Party uh, won the presidential election across the country. Chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, in the early hours of Wednesday, declared the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Tinubu, winner of the polls. Yakubu said Tinubu polled a total of 8,794,726 votes to defeat his closest rival and candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, uh, who scored 6,984,520 uh, and 6,101,533 votes, respectively. But it is if it told Arise TV, Arise TV Morning Show that the presidential election revealed so many things to Nigerians. He said, I thank all the foreign bodies who commented and condemned the integrity of the election and thank all Nigerians for the way they treated the Labour Party. In fact, I am happy with the result the Labour Party got from the election, not the ones announced by the INEC. Of course, we know that that one is fake, but what we saw was the Labour Party winning Lagos and across the country. Some people who do not believe in the oneness of the country are now thinking otherwise, and the future of Nigeria is now brighter. I do not believe that Tinubu, my friend, would be sworn in as president. If that is done, it would be a disaster, but I think this thing was, has happened, has opened the eyes of Nigerians. We thank the Yorubas, we thank the Aousas, and every group in Nigeria for this openness. Don't mind the manipulation that made Peter Obi the third. Everybody knows it is impossible, especially with the controversy surrounding the Muslim Muslim ticket. One must distinguish between the election as conducted and the election as reported. Tinubu will not be president of Nigeria. I don't see him being sworn in. Hmm. Okay. So that is what uh, Chief Ezefe is saying. Appreciating Nigerians for voting. Uh, uh, Peter will be very well across across the country. Appreciated the Labour Party, I mean uh, the Yoruba, the Igbos and the Aousas and everybody across Nigeria that, inv that voted the Labour Party. He is saying that there is a clear distinction between the election as, as conducted and the election as reported. The election as conducted is different from the election as reported. If as conducted, Peter will be clearly won as reported to number one by INEC Rigging which is not acceptable. And so for that reason, all of these things have opened Nigerian eyes and he does not see Tinubu being sworn in. Even if he has been declared winner and been given certificate of return, he will, done, he will not be sworn in and he will not be sworn in. I know that there is serious battle, underground battle going on, but it's quite unfortunate that these people are living on, on, on the kind of covenant, evil covenant that I don't understand. Okay, what they present to Nigerians in the daylight is different from what they do at night. And, uh, and I know that God will expose them. That is the truth. So Ezefe is saying that Tinubu will not be president of Nigeria. He will not be sworn in because the certificate of return is carrying. He got it fraudulently and that is not the aspiration of Nigeria. It will not happen. Okay, it will not happen. So there are a few comments here that uh, we have. Uh, from few Nigerians. Somebody say, how can someone that came third claiming to be the winner? Also, Atiku is claiming is the winner. Baba, please, calm down. 
okay, be coming down. The winner has emerged already. This must be a PC person. Can you imagine? How can you say the winner has emerged already? Who is the winner? What is the report that was used to bring him out as a winner? Okay, to declare him winner. We are talking about the election as conducted, different from the election as reported. Okay, even after declaring him winner, INEC is still receiving those reports from a uh, from uh, individual police units and you and uploading them now, even after giving certificate of return. And you think that that is a fair process? So the question is, what data did INEC use to declare Tinubu winner and to give him certificate of return? What data? So the truth is that INEC, I mean, uh, INEC sold the certificate at a huge amount and price to Tinubu. INEC did not work credibly to declare Tinubu winner. That is the truth. And the whole Nigerians knows that. Okay? Somebody say you are the biggest fool I have ever seen. Maybe, maybe uh, you robbed of what rightfully belonged to you as they robbed Peter B of his mandate in Jesus' name. Can you imagine? May you be robbed of what rightfully belongs to you. Okay? Okay? <laughs> That's a very bad prayer for that guy. This is the most reason why your candidate lost. Insults. Okay, all you know is insult. APC has insulted people more than any other person and any other party in this country. That is the truth. Somebody says you are still sleeping before you wake. Tinubu would have been sworn in as the 16th president of Nigeria. Can you imagine? Eh? 16th president of Nigeria. Join the great Illuminati Brotherhood today. I received 5 million. Hmm. What kind of thing is this? Somebody is advertising the Illuminati here. What got rubbish? Okay. Uh, hmm. Somebody is insulting his affair here for saying that. Okay. And uh, I will read that insult. I will not. I will not read that insult. Somebody say, join. Oh, no. So, my God will not allow Tinubu to be sworn in. That's what somebody is saying there. Okay. You believe Obi win Lagos, but you cannot believe Tinubu win the election. Hmm. Obi won everywhere. Whether he won Lagos or not, even if they did not give him Lagos, it would have been so obvious too. So don't tell her that you traded Lagos to win Nigeria. Just like M. Solomo told the, I mean, so son told the father that they sacrificed Lagos to win Nigeria. It's not, uh, you cannot use that to pacify Labour Party or anybody that uh, they won Lagos. That you should be satisfied with that. So, translating to what? He did not contest to be governor of Lagos. He contested to be president of Nigeria. So, winning Lagos is just one of the winnings. He won across the country. We all know that the rigging allocated and allotted Peter Obi's vote to Tinubu to win. And uh, by the, at the right time, all the evidences will come out. That is the truth. All the evidences will surely come out. Somebody say, God is not a man because it is man that proposed but god disposes yeah so whatever they have done is done by man and obviously that is not the will of god for nigeria let nobody fate it okay let nobody fate it it is not because they are shocked with that they see with what they see what is that what are they seeing so now the people in labor people in the apc are happy now that are strategizing and challenging and insulting anybody saying that the election was not correct but obviously, the election was not correct. It was not correct. Okay? So that is what uh, uh, Chief Ezefe is saying. Tinubu will not be president of Nigeria. He doesn't see him being sworn in because he fraudulently got the certificate and will lose it fast. Okay? So INEC is not ready to do anything. INEC has... They don't chop. They don't collect their own share. That, now, what now they see that? INEC don't chop. They don't collect their own share. Now, they're going to smile. They feel say they don't work, but it could choke them. Because at the right time, they will vomit what they have stolen. That is the truth. Okay? So the Bible said that the, 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 the wicked prospered by stealing. But at the right time, he will vomit them back again. Till that was said in Job, Job or so. Okay? So it is, it is clear. The wicked prospered by stealing and definitely will vomit it at the right time. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comments.